Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing NASCAR Heat 3. It's race number two in the career of Jim Bob Louder. And we will be racing for BGH Racing at Bristol Motor Speed Ray Speedway. It is the Wrangler 100. And we are getting set. We're in the Dirt Track Series for BGH Racing, the number 11 car. And we're still trying to earn a spot on a team somewhere, get a contract. So let's see if we can improve our standings here. Our goal is to be in the top 18 out of 23 cars and a little bit of a sloppy start. Once again, we fall back to number 16. And in 15th place, as we are still very tight here in the first lap, we fall back to 16th. Little jostling there. And we are starting to fall. So uh, this car not running very fast right here as we get into the wall a little bit. And honestly, we have fallen back now into 22nd place out of 23 teams. And there is that man, Jay Martin, in front of us. That guy's a terrible driver, but judging by how much we are looking at his bumper, we're not much better. All right, we have fallen now to dead last. We are in lap number three. We're going to fly past Jay Martin on the outside. And we're starting to get a little bit more space, not a ton. This is a... Uh, seems like a short track and not a lot of separation between all the cars. Glovka is to our left and we are making a little bit of hay on the outside. We jump into 19th place. Now into 18th. We found a spot. Slide down. Wilson ahead of us at 17th. And we're running about 100 miles an hour on the dirt track here at Bristol Speedway. Where is Bristol? Connecticut, I think? Bristol, Connecticut? I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, you NASCAR people. I'm not a NASCAR person, but I do love NASCAR games. Uh, they're a lot of fun to play. Can't watch NASCAR on TV. I've tried a few times, and it's, it, it, it holds my attention for a little while. And I'll, I'll jump back in every once in a while and check on it, but I can't sit and watch a, a three, four hour race and not move. But I can have it on while I'm doing other stuff. I've done that before. All right, we have moved into 17th. The career of Jim Bob Louder. Just the second race, we are still trying to earn a contract. And by the end of this first dirt track season, we hope to have a contract in place to race for a certain team. Can't tell who that is just yet. We are in 17th place here. We've got a little bit of space. We are looking at Goodman in 16th. And now we're going to move ahead in the race. It's a 100 lap race. We are in lap number 16. We're looking at the, the back end of Laguerre. That guy is good. He is constantly in the top five cars, it seems like. And he is uh, he has lapped us and is in third place right now. And as you can tell, we're starting to feel a lot more comfortable on this track. It takes me a little while. I should probably do a little more practicing. But I'm too anxious. I want to get in and race. And it, it actually costs me a little bit of the first because uh, don't take a great line. As we head into lap number 18, we have been lapped now by Brown. He is in fourth place. We are still running in 17th. Our goal is to be in the top 18 with 82 laps to go. Here in the Wrangler 100. We get a little bit into the wall there, a little tap. Still not overly comfortable racing two and three wide. Especially on the dirt, it gets a little bit squirrely now and then. 81 laps to go as we are heading into 15th place. So we are starting to move up. The race standings 14th, and we pass him to get into the. No, we're still in 14th, sorry. And we're looking at Jay Martin. We are going to lap Jay Martin, so that makes us feel a little bit better about our separation from last place. And uh, we have fallen down out into 17th. And Gare back in front of us again, and oh man, 27's getting a little bit loose. 
then he finds a spot to recover. Fazio, sixth place car is in front of us now. 79 laps to go here at the Wrangler 100. Henderson, that guy is kind of a douche, man. I think I said that in that last episode. He is, uh, he's kind of, uh, I don't know, he just, he drives like people in Utah drive. They're jerks. So, 17th place. I'm from Utah, so I can say that. Utah drivers are, after living in Utah for a while, or my whole life, and then moving to Washington and Oregon, I can safely say that Utah drivers are some of the worst in the country. They're always in a hurry. They're always riding you. Even if you're going like 10 over the speed limit, they're right on your butt. And uh, they're just, they're not very not very good drivers in Utah. Like always in a hurry, always in a bad mood. Not safe. They drive way too fast in that state. You think California's fast, and it might be true, California is fast, but Utah drivers are seriously out of control of fast, for the most part. All right, we are in lap number 25 out of 100, in position 17. We're holding steady in the top 18, but we would like to put a little bit more separation between us and that 18th place driver as we jump into 14 as we pass on the inside. Nice move there with 75 laps to go. It's still a long race. It's tough on these long races to be patient. And uh, patience is usually rewarded. We are now into position 13. We have jumped ahead to lap number 41. And we are passing the car on the inside. We are up to 13th place. Davidson is in front of us at 12th. As we continue to jostle for position here at Bristol Motor Speedway, the dirt track at Bristol. Davidson doing a pretty good job of blocking us, but you know, with this long of a race, we should just be content. We're not going to. We push Davidson a little bit to the outside. And uh, we get into his back uh, rear uh, driver's side tire a little bit. 13th place, Davidson in 12th. 43rd lap. We, uh, we need to be a little bit more patient and content to just hang out back here and let Davidson dictate when uh, he gives us an opportunity to pass him instead of force the issue. We could end up we could end up uh, getting squirrely, getting a little bit loose and out of control, go spinning off. We have yet to do that in this franchise or in this uh, career. We have avoided accidents in the first race, and so far in the second race, we have not gotten into any wrecked fests here on the dirt track. Ep or, uh, episode. Uh, lap number 62 as we are moving inside and outside and inside them and outside them. Davidson still blocking us from passing. He's in 12th place. We're in 13th place. We have been following him for about three or four laps now. We're in lap number 63. And Davidson's got a few cars in front of him. And now we've got one down low. And we're going to fly around the outside, trying to keep it away from the wall. But we are able to pass some cars, and we finally get past Davidson. He gets caught up in traffic there. And now we've got Baker Dillon. She is out in front of us at 7th place, so she has a lap on us. And Wilson, the 19th place car, is to our left. And we're going to jump ahead now into lap number 83. We are still riding in 13th place in this race, the ring of 100. There's Laguerre out in front. He's a good driver, and we slam into Laguerre as we catapult down the lower side of the track. And we get through the inside. We pass that group of cars. We do not change positions as uh, neither of none of those cars was the 11th place car. We have yet to see the 11th place car, so who knows where they are? Hopefully that we're not a lap behind them. But now we have some clean, smooth sailing out here. A lot of space. We can really let it go. We're up to 125 miles an hour as we come around these turns with no cars around us. It's kind of fun every once in a while after you're uh, stressed driving three wide and two wide and weaving in and out of cars. It's kind of fun to open it up a little bit. 
with some space and now we are looking at Martin again we probably lapped him for like the third or fourth time like I said he's terrible he's in last place and he was in last place last race we're in lap number 90 12 position number 12 we have yet to see the 11th place car as here is uh, goalie he is the 21st place car and the 19th place car Wilson Wilson's looking to lap the 21st place car we're gonna lap Wilson the 19th place car here in lap number 90. 10 laps to go as we fly inside of the 20, 21st place car. Still in 12th place. We're still looking for number 11 up ahead of us. And if we don't ever see him, this might be where we finish. It's 12th. We only have nine laps to go. And that would be us. The leaders probably have less. So we'll probably see a checkered flag before we get to all 100 laps. We're cruising at 125 miles an hour again on that straightaway. Slow it down into the turn at about 110. As we're coming up on Schneider, he is 17th place, not the 11th place car. Are we going to finish 12th? I think we finished 14th in the last race. 12th would be a solid top 18 position. That was our goal for this BGH Motorsports team. So we would fulfill what they wanted us to do to get the cash that they are willing to pay out. Oh no, we get a little bump from Brown, but we are able to recover. 94th lap, the leaders ought to be crossing the finish line any time now. Schneider in 17th place car. It looks like we are probably going to finish in 12th, unless the 13th place car is right on our tail and we get a little bit out of control. All right, oh, we slam into Brown and there's Schneider again. And we look behind us, there is nobody behind us, so we are cruising in 12th. The 13th place car is out of our sight. And it looks like we are all alone in 12th place as we head down the home stretch. And that is it. The checkered flag has been waved, and we finish in 12th at the Wrangler 100 at Bristol Motor Speedway. Brady Lewis with your fastest lap. That improves our season standing to 21st out of 23 drivers. So Brady Lewis, most laps led, Dan Goodman. Started 20th, finished 3rd. And Eli Libson started 9th, finished 22nd. Tough break for him. All right, that's it for episode number 2 of the career of Jim Bob Louder. It's NASCAR Heat 3. It's Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.